Hello everyone. Uh, I want to really sh uh, show you today. I want to show you today how to install IPS or Intrusion Prevention System in a GNS3. So that has been a little bit difficult for some people, and it's really uh, it's not that hard uh, at all. So I want to share with you this is small uh, this uh, small video or this little video and I want to uh, share with you okay we are in a GNS3 here it's a GNS 1.3 is the la latest one and I'm using Windows 8.1 uh, uh, 64 version so uh, I would like to uh, show you this one so I mean uh, to how to install so what we will go we, we are, what we are going to do we go uh, edit we go preference we go uh, chemo option and then I've got already here so I'm gonna delete this one and now I'm, uh, I delete it so what we'll do we just go new and then we scroll down we just uh, choose uh, IDS or intrusion detection system uh, okay and then we say next and then we don't have to name or anything it just we can leave it that or if you want you can make a name like IDS one or something it I mean uh, it really it's really up to you then we can say next then uh, we don't have to change anything or uh, uh, on these uh, default settings and then we go uh, next and then it shows me and then it, it, it needs the disk HDA so this is where it is they have to be in D in the D um, D drive yeah the, the, uh, if, if you put it a C drive they will not work they have to be in the drive so I'll get from the drive okay I have to go to desktop I mean my happen to my computer is free okay uh, I have to go to D and this is you see fully MD and then I put it here and then I put it there and then I'm using IPS 7 so uh, you have to first choose uh, disk one and then I uh, say like it will ask you like would you like to copy disk one to the default image just say no because if you, if you say yes it will reside in the C so I mean in C uh, volume so we don't need to reside C volume we want to remain we want this thing to remain uh, D otherwise it will not work you got me it should be always D then a slash and then that path it has to have that path D slash Cisco slash GNS3 IPS7 disk1 and then I will ask you the second one HDB it was a HDA before okay HDB and then we have to do the similar task so we have to what do we have to do we have to go to PC again we have to go to uh, D folium again and then you know uh, the re uh, uh, how it becomes that one I, I just it uh, I put it in Cisco folder and then I put it in GNS uh, folder and then I uh, you know you see the um, IPS is there so it has to be that way and then disk 2 and then open the disk 2 and then it will ask you same thing and we say no and then you say finish and then we are not changing anything here we'll just go edit we are not changing uh, general setting anything we are not changing HDD anything because it already has it we are not the network we can choose five or I mean you can leave it by just five, choose it five and the advanced setting we only need to change uh, additional settings here so to go additional settings I'll go our website I think that that link here I will put uh, this description in my video now I put it in my in my bookmark and it is uh, very 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 good uh, I mean if you follow that one you won't even need to I mean do you don't need anything else so I I just copy chemo option here so chemo option and then I will copy and then what I will do and I will uh, copy to to GNS to my GNS3 that I have it here uh, and then that's the only thing we need to change here yeah? and then because activate CBU throttling you don't have to touch and then okay and then apply and then okay 
Docker 2 uh, I don't know when I open that one so what I will do we'll just take uh, IDS I'm gonna make sure that it works we have a two, two, two things open at the same time so I have to close it uh, let me let me open it back because I didn't see if you open two GLS then it's not gonna go okay so it's a, we put it there and now you have to see this one and then what we do we just right click and just console because we don't wanna we don't wanna have it uh, the, 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 you know the window that it has so we use the co console so to use a console just right click and then use it right click and then console so you see IDS one here and then look it's fast uh, by the way I'm using a very fast computer Intel i7 with a 16 gig memory so that's why it just runs it just running fast but it is uh, it takes really a while for the low level computers so now Cisco it is a uh, Cisco is a uh, is a login and Cisco IPS 123 is the uh, is the password but I mean the link I will give you you will see everything else show interfaces you see so I can uh, and the version version is the main thing so let me show version so the version we are using it should be version 7 you see we are using a version version 7 so I hope this is has been this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing